Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to look at some more uh, Google Docs. And not particularly the Word document, I've already got a couple videos on doing that. But I want to look at some of the other um, types of things you can create with your Google Docs account and then share and then collaborate with users on. Now, Google Docs has been changing a lot over the past few months. There's a chance your interface might even look a little bit different than mine. And if you're testing out the Google Drive account, then you probably have the word Drive up here too, which basically means you now have a web-based hard drive, web-based storage for all of your stuff. Not that you didn't have that before, but um, now it's something you can use on your personal computer. You know, so basically, you can have your Google Drive account. You can just save stuff to it without actually having your web browser open, so to speak. And of course, that's the hot thing right now is, you know, like iCloud, SkyDrive, um, basically some web-based accessible hard drive where you can store documents, access them from any computers, and it makes it really easy to share. So sharing files amongst collaborators is becoming even easier now. But let's check out a couple things we can do with Google Docs. Uh, right now, let's see, I'm going to click on the Create button over here on the left side. And I've worked with documents before. Let's check out presentations. This might be nice for a, a class or work project and when you have to work on a presentation. Even if you're just doing this yourself, I think it's a great tool. But uh, especially useful if you're working with a team of people. And that team of people is regularly not together in a group. So you can work on it from a distance. So let's see, and it's, just think of a super baby version of PowerPoint here, really. It's not going to have all the fancy stuff, but I think it's, you can still make a great presentation. So uh, we've got uh, a set of themes to choose from, and uh, I'll just go ahead and uh, pick Friendly. And OK. And we've got our theme set up, and we can interact with this pretty much how we would any other kind of presentation tool. Um, very simple menus to navigate. Insert images, insert videos, insert word art. Let's try a couple things. I'll just go ahead and put down a generic title. Okay. There we go. So I've got my title ready to insert a new slide. I can click the little new slide button. Notice it's control M, which is the same keystroke combination that it is in PowerPoint. Um, I can click on a little drop down choice and I can get a title slide, title and body, title and two columns, title only. A lot of these presentations still have old school slide layouts and if you've ever watched presentations on TED, you'll notice that those are rarely done. But um, So I'll just go for title only. and. Uh, I'm actually get rid of the title. Notice they do have the option here. I can rotate this text around and stuff like that. So that's pretty slick, just like in uh, PowerPoint or other tools. But I don't even want that on there. And let's just kind of experiment with a couple other things. So I will hit Insert Image. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, oh, we could just drag an image over here from my computer. Not a bad way to go. I'll go ahead and do uh, Choose an Image to Upload. And I'll just find one on my computer that I can use. Documents, pictures. Let's see. Oh, there's a picture of me and Death Valley. I'll pop that on there. There we go. So that was pretty easy. And of course, I've got uh, little slider handles here that I can adjust. And I've got my rotate handle that I can adjust. So getting that video in there, or that picture in there, is pretty neat. But speaking of video, I want to try that. So I'm going to click uh, New Slide. I'll just do another one here don't like the big slide titles and uh, insert video now of course it's gonna prompt me for a YouTube video which I think is probably a great way to go so let me just go uh, jump over here oh, actually I've got a YouTube window open so uh, there's a cool PHP tutorial let me just click on this from PHP Academy and I'm gonna go ahead and get the share address copy that share address back over to my presentation paste it in. Uh, of course I could have used that to search too and uh, actually just a little oh I had a did a video search I need the URL wrong spot there we go paste your YouTube URL got that I'll click select pops the video in I'll just go ahead and resize it a little bit bigger 
All right, I'm happy with that. New slide, insert. Um, of course, Word Art you're familiar with from your Microsoft Word and PowerPoint uh, programs and things like that. Basic shapes, so if you need to draw some diagrams there. Lines, looks like we've got pretty normal choices. So it looks like a pretty, you know, pretty good tool. So I would encourage you to check this kind of thing out. Um, let's see, we can change our backgrounds, layout, change your theme. Remember, I chose that friendly theme. Let me check out change transitions. Currently, I have no transition. I'll go ahead and do a uh, slide from right. Apply to all slides and play so we can kind of see how this works. There we go. I'm not a huge fan of transitions, but at least we have that option. So, okay, so I think I'm happy with this enough. I've, I've seen a, a enough of the basic features. Let's see if we can't rig this up so that other people can work on it for uh, with us. Let me just go ahead and change my name here to uh, Example Presentation. Go ahead and click OK now. And I'm going to share this. Currently, this PowerPoint presentation, by the way, can only be accessed by me. If I go to my original home screen where I have all of my Google Docs, you'll notice I've got some pre-existing documents, spreadsheets, and things like that. But I've also got my example presentation available to me, and I'm the owner. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click the Share option for this interface. The Share is over here on the top right corner. And I'll go ahead and type in another address. I'll type in. I've got a different account here so I'll just type in one of my other Gmail accounts I'll hit uh, share and save are you sure yes I am okay so now you'll notice me okay right here this is where I created the account or created the presentation I'm the owner of this PowerPoint but I've also shared it with Ralph Phillips and that person has editing privileges I could click on this and I could make them the owner um, I could make it so they could just view it okay or I can make it so that they can comment now if you're making this presentation to put out there just so people can watch it you don't necessarily need to set this so that they can all view it you just put it out on there on the web and I'll show you that in just a second but now in theory um, this other user can edit this PowerPoint so let's see if that works so I'm gonna click done here and I'm gonna close this out I'm back here at Google Docs I'm gonna log out sign out and I'm gonna sign in under a different account This one I do have Google Drive established on it and things like that. Okay. And let's see. So I'm, I'm looking at currently my Google Drive right now, but I'm going to click on the option over here, Shared With Me. This is the more current interface, okay? So I'm going to click on Shared With Me, and there's my example presentation. So I can edit this, and I can click on this. Now I have access to that presentation. Oh, this is the first time I've used PowerPoint on this new account, so I can, I'll just close this. But now I've got this PowerPoint, and I can continue adding slides to it, changing the transition, changing the text content, and things like that. So that's pretty slick. So I have control over this PowerPoint, completely different people, and you could be in different rooms, different states, different countries. So that's kind of nice. Let's take care of something from here. I'm going to click on File. And I'm going to choose to publish this presentation to the web. So I'm going to choose Publish to the Web. Do I want to require viewers to sign in with their central org? No, I don't want to do that, so I'll leave that unchecked. I'm just going to click Start Publishing. Yes, I'm positive. And when you do this, it's going to give you an address that you can share. So get a link to the published document, or you could embed it. So if you wanted to put this presentation in a web page, you could take this embed code right here, and you could pop that into your HTML and take care of that. Um, I'm going to end up using the document link because I'm kind of curious how that will look to people. So I'm going to select that document link and I'll copy it. And of course I'll just keep the default sizes for now. And I don't know if I want to automatically every few seconds, but yeah, I guess that's what it's the default. So slideshow as soon as the player loads, restart slideshow after the last slide. That's fine. Okay, so I think I'm good. So I've got that code, the web address, the URL. I'm going to close that, and just so we can get a more realistic ex, you know, experience, I'll sign out. And let me just pop this address right inside of my browser address bar. 
it's thinking. And there we go. So now I've got this presentation. And I'm here in the Google Chrome browser. Got my presentation going. And if I move my mouse down here in the lower left corner, I do get some navigation controls. You probably don't see those. Let me uh, resize this a bit here. There we go. So you can see I've got these navigation controls in here. And I can check out. Oh, there we go. I was paused. I'm playing, playing my presentation. And I can move through it. So this would be a, a way that I could actually deliver this presentation to an audience without having to bring in a USB drive or anything like that. All I need is web browser and internet access. So it's kind of a cool little tool. So experiment. The next time you need to make a presentation, maybe check out um, the presentation tool within Google Docs.